thank you for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the last two videos I did on reloading the shredder. Uh, this one I'm really excited about. It came out really nice, clean, and quick, I guess very easy to do, and I think it'll clean up very nicely as well. I want to thank FC The Rock for the idea of punching out the tissue with the hole punch. I was using a three hole punch here. It seemed to work really well. Knocked out a lot of the little discs um, for the cartridge. And the judo crab, thanks for the idea of uh, watering down the Elmer's glue a little bit. That actually does make for an easier application and it keeps it from drying out quite as fast as you'll notice in the video, I did not water it down and I did have issue with some of the uh, spots drying before I was able to put the tissue on. So I think that uh, will make the whole process much easier and cleaner. And the purpose of using the Elmer's school glue is that it's water soluble. And once we're done with the disc firing it, we can just drop it in a glass of water and wipe it off. It should be ready to reload. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it helps. I think, um, for those of you who've made comments, I'll make sure to have the obligatory test shots involving some poop so we can maybe get some explosions there. All right, I hope this helps and I hope you enjoy it. Please hit subscribe. I enjoy uh, the comments as well. Thank you. Okay, so let's start with some Elmer school glue. I like the washable uh, types of glues for these because after we shoot them, it's nice if we have an easy cleanup. So just throw them in some water, let it soak, and then wipe them off. All right. So we're going to go ahead and Use a use the straw here. We're going to place that glue just a little ring. I don't think we're going to need too much. Not getting a really good solid ring on that. Let's try there. So maybe it's the side I cut. So if you get that ring on there, we probably can just blow that out. I'll probably next time blow it from the other side so we don't get the glue residue on the inside of the salt chamber. I'm not sure how that's, I'm getting a lot of dead spaces. So let's try a small, just a small brush. Actually, that looks like it might be a little neater in there. The straw was, I thought was a really good idea, but maybe I'm just not doing it right. I'm just having little gaps and I don't want salt leaking out from the edges there. Now, just in case I have a little film on there, I'm just going to blow that, blow that out. And as was suggested, I just hole punched a bunch of these tissue. Not as easy as I thought. We can set those in and get the glue out of the way there. I had to do this inside, so I hope the sound is okay. Probably have a little bit of an echo. This is kind of a big room, but uh, it's really windy outside, and 
these little tissue dots don't really care for don't seem to care for the wind I like this. This seems to be, this might be the, my final reloading video so far. If this works, which it looks like it, I see no reason why it shouldn't work. Looks like it'll work. All the other ones have worked. It's usually a matter of the labor and the cleanup. That one folded over. not quite on there. Let me redo that one. The nice thing is, is you can pump these guys out in mass. Not that difficult to make. Just get that. I used the three hole punch. It worked a lot better. I tried it with the single hole punch that I, I figure most people have in their junk drawer or their desk drawer. And all right, I'm actually going to let that dry for a few minutes just because if we do have any glue residue on the inside of the chamber, I don't want the salt getting all stuck in there. So let's let that dry for a few minutes and then we'll fill it up and give it a try. Okay, so we've given it a couple minutes here. Let it dry out. Feels pretty good. Let's put some salt in it. Okay. Trusty little tub here to catch all the excess. I like this in that I don't have all the sticky edges sticking out to catch the excess salt. And just in case you're thinking about it, don't blow on the cylinder to clean it off. That'd be kind of messy. All right, let's brush off the little nooks and crannies and just in case you're wondering, this is not the brush I used for the glue. I buy those in bulk because they turn out to be really handy for everything. You can get a big bag of those on Amazon for hardly anything. All right, looks like we got our salt taken care of. Now, this one will be the interesting one because I don't want to get the glue on the salt really. Just lightly brush the top with glue and not worry too much about getting the salt all glued up. Hopefully the salt that touches the glue will just come off with the brush. Oh, we got a little gunk there. Like I said, I tried the straw, but I couldn't quite get a good even glue pattern. I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't. If anything, I get more glue in the in the opening than I do on the edges. Just a really light coat here is all we need. The tissue doesn't need. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way here. I should have. Set the cameras up on the other side. Let's bring over the uh, 
Gonna crunch that one up a little. Right had to switch out the tweezers. It turned out my other ones had a little outward bend and this tissue paper is really thin. So it's not so helpful. Hopefully my glue hasn't dried already. That one might have already dried. So when you get your tweezers, just make sure you got some that'll actually hold the tissue. Kind of excited to see how this one works out. It looks really nice. It's like magic. I keep coming up with new discs here. I guess they were stuck together. Just pulling apart when I was pressing them down. Maybe don't glue them all at once. Maybe go a couple at a time here. I was seeing how fast we could do this, but I think for such a thin layer of glue, it's drying out before we're getting them placed, which is good in that the droop the glue is drying quickly. Actually, I got a breeze coming right across the table. I left the screen open in the back and I think it's drying out my glue really quickly. This is my first time doing this as well. So I would assume that in the future we could all do this a little more quickly. didn't pre-test this because it just sounded like a great idea. So there's a little residual salt. That's more from sitting in the salt, not from a leak. Everything looks pretty good here. And it's, see a little bit of salt, I think. Is that one of them? No, I think that was just stuck in the nooks and crannies. See how the top is looking. I'll let this dry for a minute, but it looks like they're all holding. And we're going to see how that shoots. And due to, or I guess back by popular demand, I'll make sure to get some of my obligatory fly on poop shots in there as we test it out. I guess that's more fun than testing it out on the iron targets. All right, we'll let that dry and we'll give that a go in a little bit. All right, so we're going to load this up and get this ready to shoot. It's a little windy out here, so I might be getting a little background noise. But I'm going to put a brand new CO2 cartridge in here today. Because last time we did our test, the CO2 actually ran out at the end. And so I don't feel like we got an accurate reflection of the actual load. A little CO2 in there, but not a lot. Let's see if we can get the little hiss there when it cracks the seal. There we go. Got it. 
Let's make sure we got nice tight. And we'll go ahead and put these back on. All right, and here is our loaded cartridge. Came out really nice. What I didn't do on the last section, so I wanted to save that for here, is just that we got to pop that little black piece, and it just lines up with those lines there. You can see that it's really sunny out here. So. All right. Okay. Just line up those arrows there. All right. Just close that out. All right, that should be ready to go. Let's go set up our target. Of course, when I walk over here, there's no flies. Don't quite make out any fly body, but I'm pretty sure we got it. I'll try it in a slow mo and see if we got anything better. Ooh, we have a fly finally on our poop there. Just judging from what happened, I'm going to say our reload was successful. That, uh, <laughs> if the state of the poop is any indicator, I'm going to guess the fly is probably done. I can't really find a body there. Here's the leaf that we just shot. No sign of the fly. Oh, where's that leaf? Can't see it in this camera. Let me zoom out a little bit here. There we are. Looks like it went all the way through.
Well, I had just missed the shot, but I had shot a fly on here. So just keep in mind, when you're shooting at bugs, you want to make sure it's not on something you don't want damaged. So I wish I had remembered to hit record. It was a really good shot. Well, that was our 10 reloads. Let's take a look what we got here. All right. Well, we got a little bit of paper there, little piece. That's all. Not a big deal. If you can see, but the barrel's clean. Interior is pretty clean. The cartridge. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Looks pretty clean. And like I said, we use that white glue. So I'm guessing it's going to clean up really. Look at that. It comes right off. But I put in a little water, I'm guessing it's going to be nice and clean. Well, that was a success. Hope that helps you guys out. Have fun reloading. Please hit subscribe, and I will put something up soon.